That's Clint Eastwood's <laughs> new film, Richard Jewell. All right, your 38th film that you've directed, Richard Jewell. And this is a story that I think uh, some people may not remember at all, and some people remember it but don't really know the, the full story. So tell everyone what this is. Well, he was a uh, security guard, and he's uh, supposed to watch security at the uh, 1996 Olympics in uh, Atlanta. And uh, he did a heroic deed. He discovered a bomb there, and, and, uh, and a bomb eventually went off, but it, and, uh, it, it, it didn't do the damage it was supposed to because of things he did. Well, then somebody got the idea they were trying to, uh, trying to find a, uh, they had to find a fall guy really fast because otherwise they were gonna cancel the Olympics and it was gonna be millions of dollars down the tubes and everything. So uh, uh, he, uh, uh, somebody got the idea and they pinned it on him. And you know, and, uh, the press and, uh, and the FBI uh, were somewhat complacent in some of the things they did. And so uh, it was the ultimate American tragedy, I, in yeah. my mind, anyway. Yeah, it's, and, and you've been trying to make this, you said, during the break for five years. And, uh, it's, yeah, I was chasing it down because I liked the story because I just thought it was such a tragic situation. And I just thought it, was, uh, it, it had to be told. And uh, nobody else was telling it. And uh, they, the, the script had been around for a while. And it, and it was a good story, so. Yeah, so Kathy play, Bates plays his mother and you got to be yeah. friends with actually Richard's mother. Right. Yeah, and yeah. she must be thrilled that you finally, because his name really never was cleared. It, it just because everyone, once everyone gets it stuck in their head that that's the guy, yeah. that's the guy. Um, yeah, you made it in the, in the minds of people. Yes, uh, yes, yeah. yes. It, he, he was cleared because they finally uh, right. did find the, the real uh, culprit, but uh, when he finally, uh, uh, you know, but it did take a while, like yeah. six years afterwards. Or yeah, something. it's it's uh, well, it's a good thing you're telling the story, and I'm sure, like I said, I'm sure his his mother is very grateful for that. She's great. Congratulations! It's a great film, and <laughs> a, again, your 38th film that you're directing. Um, you're a good neighbor. You never complain. You never you. And so we wanted to do something nice for you. It's the holidays, and we wanted to decorate your bungalow for you because maybe you're too busy. So, um, so this is what we've done to your bungalow. <laughs> You're welcome. You know, th this, is, this is very nice. It's a lot better than some of the things she uh, con con <laughs> talks. When, when, uh, one time she called up and said, uh, somebody made a pinata of her, our hero here. And, you should, and then they said, now, are you supposed to go out there? And I said, oh, good. I'm going to go out there and just look at the pinata and maybe get a free candy or something. But uh, no, you take a baseball bat and you beat the hell out of it. And uh, it, so there's all kinds of things. Being her neighbor it requires a lot of uh, versatility. Yeah, yeah. You're welcome. Richard Jewell opens in theaters this Friday. We'll be right back. Clint Eastwood.